Well, one day we actually we had a, um, a breakfast together, my family and I. So then after that, um, I just fainted, and of course, um, I was bruised and so forth. And then um, at home, because of course, my, um, we also had I was still a cancer patient, so my parents knew it's, it's kind of like a regulation to just bring me back to the hospital in case of any incident and so forth. So um, after the some tests and so forth, the doctor came back and then like reported that my blood count was actually so low that actually any further, if it dropped any further, I could be considered legally dead. It was a very rude shock to me. And uh, being my parents also, they tried to hide their emotions. Like, it's fine, it's fine, okay, it's, everything will be fine. But I can, I can tell it's pretty difficult for them to handle as well. Coming to such a serious incident where I'm close to death, so you start to realise the importance of blood. I mean, donating blood, it's, it seems like a very simple act, but yet, in terms of what you can do, like saving lives, it's something that's immeasurable for that sense. Like, you can't use money or even time as a common measure to see how great of an act it is. It's something that's very selfless. My dad is a champion blood donor. He's donated over 200 over times. So, like 16 years old, he gave me a form. Here, sign this. What's this? You're going to donate blood. Okay. So I just went along and, of course, after his, my brother's incident, it became more concrete for me. It's like, you look, you're doing something, not just, oh, I'm just donating blood. It's actually helping to save other people's lives. I may not know who's the recipient, but I know it's being used for somebody's help. Yeah, that's how I became a blood donor.